Good morning, YouTube. It's a balmy 30, I don't know, between 36 and 40 degrees by the time I left my house and got here. So it's a pretty chilly morning down here in the canyon. I've got a heck of a hike in, but I'm, my goal today is to catch some good sized fish. Uh, I'm really hoping with this colder weather, the fish are starting to stage up for winter and they're gonna eat any and everything that they get in front of their face. So with that being said, I'm gonna try to catch some big ones. And I think I know where they're at. I know how to get there. So we're gonna try to make that happen today. Uh, Lank did not wanna get out of bed this morning. He said he wanted to sleep in. Uh, I think one, he wanted to sleep in, but two, he hates this trail. It's uh, it's the worst one here. Uh, it's very steep, <laughs> especially coming back out. It's not fun at all, but there's big fish down there. Anyway, uh, y'all all, most of you, some of you will be pleased to know that I'm wearing some boots today and not my barefoot sandals or chacos that I normally wear. So, you're welcome. It's a little chilly. I don't want my little frostbite on my little piggies. But anyway, y'all uh, stay tuned as I try not to bust my butt going down this trail. And we'll see you after a while. We made it. It is absolutely chilly this morning. But the water level should be low enough to walk across these rocks with these <clears throat> so that's the plan look how pretty man fall has arrived Let's see if we can see any fish real quick i might have to take a more natural approach i don't know but i'm going down there quite a ways so cue the music it is supposed to warm up to 80 something today the low 80s so <clears throat> maybe it'll i don't know that's i hadn't fished in the 30s for bass in a while so and it's been chilly every morning this week so we shall see if I catch anything at all. Hope I do. All right, back to the music. Got him. Oh no, didn't set the hook good. Well, there's the first miss. I know they're hitting top water, which is a good thing. I wasn't looking. I was looking at my next step. I didn't think I'd catch one this quick, this chilly this morning. My plan is to go on down a couple of miles, but that was definitely a Kusa. I just do not want to get wet today wearing pants. That's the most miserable feeling, and boots. Everybody's like, I can't believe you're wearing them sandals. Yeah, I don't like wet feet. <laughs> yeah, it ain't cold enough to wear darn waders. Me and my wife have a trip up to the Smokies here in a couple of weeks. We'll get on some trout up there. I mean, well, just me. She don't. She don't do this fishing. But on our anniversary trip, it'll be ten years. There's a fish right there. Am I spooking them? Oh, there's a big one right there. There's a big one right there. Oh, he denied it. Why does he deny that? He come and checked it out. He's doing it again. God, that's a big one. He's he's thirteen foot. I'm thirteen. Foot. 
He's 13 inches long. They're swimming right up under it and pausing and then easing off. Fall, oh, man, look at that. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's why I get my butt up early and come do this stuff, man. Oh, God, Kingfisher. Look at that. Look at that shot. It's like the man upstairs himself just Bob Ross that. Absolutely beautiful. The fish, the fish. Got him. Kusa, first Kusa right here. little guy but well ain't too little decent sized beautiful fish man number one All right, let's release you back in there right. off a yellow stimulator or maybe green I don't know it's a stimulator. All right, there's one. Got the skunk out of the way. I definitely shouldn't have any issues with my camera overheating today. Not if this can go to a boogle bug <clears throat> and a dropper of some sort and I don't know what to use. It's gotta be something small though. My most favorite spot, man, down here <clears throat> on the planet that I've seen yet. Well, I reckon Tennessee beat Alabama last night, so that kind of sucks. But on the other hand, Lank's little football team, uh, we struggled all year, man. And somehow, out of another team cheating, we made playoffs. And we came in yesterday, played like we were, we were capable of playing for the most part, and come away with a win. So we're going to round two of the Pee Wee playoffs. And if we win next week, Saturday, we go on to play in the Pee Wee Super Bowl which would be absolutely crazy if we won that, being like one of the worst teams starting out and ending better than all. So that'd be pretty cool. We're hoping for a win. But on the other hand, me and my wife have an anniversary trip scheduled to the Smokies on, not this Saturday, but the next. So, if we play, we can't go, but I don't know. It's one of those last little conundrums. What do you do? Come on, let me get a fish right here. Caught one kusa this morning. Uno. Definitely. Come on, man. My favorite time of year, for sure. I love this weather. God, this will be a trout paradise. 
if there were trout here. Just can't beat it, man. Sun cracking through, chill in the air, leaves that's falling. It's uh, man, a special time of year. If I can just get a fish to bite, we'll be all right. That looks like a pretty good shot. Well, today has not gone like I thought it would go. The fish have moved. They're not here. They're in deeper holes somewhere. And I gotta find where they are first and then find what they want second. So, hope I don't find a bear in the process. But look at that. Man, that's beautiful. Looks somewhat promising down here in this sun. Maybe, just maybe, there'll be some bass down here. Laid up somewhere. I'm gonna try to stay back inside them. It's just tough. Okay, there's two coming. Here they come. Got him. It's a decent one. Finally. Find the sun, find the fish. I think on the way back out, it'll be a whole different ball game. I'm still gonna stay back though. That's a pretty good one there. That's a spot. <clears throat> Beautiful Alabama spotted bass. <clears throat> it's a hybrid though, but I don't know. It's hard to tell, man, these fish. Just got to release him and catch another one. There's two over there. Number two. Looking for shadows other than fish. I'm just not seeing nothing. Nothing. This is unreal. It's extremely clear though. It's a big fish. And they're definitely not hungry, so. Dropper got it. Don't come off. There ain't no barb on it. <clears throat> Dropper got him. Finally, no barb. Kusa. Thank you, fish. Good night. It's been a day. A tough day at that. One of the best for the day. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one there. Decent. Pretty fish. Definitely a red eye. Let's put you back in. Cold fish, you need a jacket. Well, I believe that concludes this episode of How Not to Catch Fish, presented by Southern Fly. But it was a tough day, man. It's been cold all week, it's been frost, I don't know, at least three or four mornings. And 
today was supposed to be warmer. Supposed to get up to 80 today, but it was like 36 when I left the house this morning. So with that being said, I I don't know. The fish are not there. They're they're, they're moved deeper. They've moved down. I don't know. I went probably I, six seven miles at least down. So I'm coming back out now. Uh, seen very very few big fish. A lot of little fish. So. I don't know if they're they're moving down. Maybe the big rain after that hurricane uh, pushed them down, but the water level still at about one and a half, well, 1.39 feet. So it's very low. I don't know. That might be the end of the bass fishing for Southern Fly until next spring, which kind of stinks. But I scratched out, I think four or five. There wasn't nothing big. The last one was okay. But anyway, now I gotta hike back up the dang mountain to uh, get to my car and go home. That was about six hours of fishing. Pretty hard with nothing really to show for it. So I'm gonna get this video pushed out and uh, be looking for some more. We'll be going to the Smokies as much as we can this year, this winter to uh, try to catch some trout. So we still yet to get our slam up there. We need the brown trout to finish it out. But, uh, but anyway, uh, brookies are our favorite up, th favorite up there, the, uh, the native brookie. So anyway, stay tuned for that and we'll try to take as many trips as we can. Maybe if it warms up some more, I know this week's gonna be in the eighties. So maybe this weekend we can come back and, and try it again down here or somewhere. Uh, I don't know, but stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please, seeing those likes and sub notifications really help us to, to get up in the morning and keep pushing this stuff out. So, but uh, anyway, y'all take care. We'll see you next time. Don't know when that'll be. Now, let's hike up a mountain. See ya. And I was gonna add too, me and Link, that's some more filler between bass season, I guess you'd say. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little hunting, but we're gonna do quite a bit of squirrel hunting, a little bit of deer hunting, and hopefully some duck hunting. Um, at the end of November here, and the rest of the winter, so so we'll have content to put out, just maybe not red eye bass content, but anywho, just gonna add that. Thank you guys. I'll say this that uh, my barefoot sandals are far superior to these hiking boots so there's that love you we made it thanks for watching we'll catch you next time